Hi everybody, it's Eileen. This is day five of my Beachbody Ultimate Reset Challenge. I had intended to write or to blog about this every step of the way, but I've been so busy slicing, dicing, chopping, and washing not only vegetables but dishes that I haven't had the chance to do it. I will get better at that. Um, I didn't really know what to expect when I set off on this reset journey. I had read some messages on the message boards at Team Beachbody. I had downloaded the guide, but I hadn't read it cover to cover. And I had talked with my coach Tom about some of his teammates' experiences on it. But I didn't really know how it was going to be, you know, um, and how it was going to affect me on a day-to-day -day basis when I was in it. And I have to say that, you know, I have had no negative side effects whatsoever from this. I've had no crushing fatigue. I've had no overwhelming hunger pains that I couldn't deal with. I've had no headaches. I don't think I've been grumpy. At least the dog hasn't told me that I have been. And honestly, I'm not feeling that I'm suffering for lack of certain things, such as the dairy, sugar, or animal proteins, or even the caffeine. And while I'm not a huge caffeine monster, I do like my caffeine, and I really have enjoyed my coffee conversations that I've had over the last four or five months. Those have been wonderful, and while that's been a miss, I'm okay without the caffeine. It's actually quite doable. So the food on this program is not only healthy and tasty, it is extremely plentiful. In fact, the meal plan puts more food on my plate than I would normally consume in an average day. So for me, I'm not so much concerned about losing weight as I am that I actually may gain weight on this program. And um, because of the sheer amount of food combined with the exercise ban, I've had to put Shanti on hold. You know, it's a little uncomfortable, but I'll, I'll work my way through it. So one upside for me, unexpected benefit, is that I'm actually sleeping now. Those of you who know me know that I am a bit of a vampire. I stay up late and I normally will clock maybe three to four hours a night. And now I'm getting a full night's sleep. I'm waking up incredibly rested and I've just come off a wonderful cloud. And I've even catnapped a few times unexpectedly. I missed a gold medal dive the other night, which was a bit unfortunate just to, due to a poorly timed catnap. Um, so, ups and downs. Uh, my biggest goal right now for the reset is trying to see how this is going to impact my cholesterol level. The lab work that we had to do at the very beginning showed my um, total cholesterol to be very high. And while I come from a family that manufactures it freely, I would rather control it through diet and exercise than I would through medication. And so that has become my primary goal for the reset. And I'm hoping that after the next 16 days, I will see vast improvement in that, not only having made you know progress there, but understanding truly you know the benefit of thinking consciously about what I eat and when I eat, and how that's going to overall benefit me for the long run. I would recommend that you consider doing a cleanse or a detox. This is a great one. Everything tastes good. I feel good. It's wonderful. We'll see you soon.